Did you know there are nearly 1.2 billion Mandarin speakers in the world? Not only that, currently there are over 100 million people learning the language. I bet you think immersion is the best way to learn a language, or at least an easy way, right? If you just move to the country where the native language is spoken, you'll learn it. And through osmosis of merely existing in the country, you'll just learn the language. You'll be speaking like a native in no time, right? <laughs> no, no, no. Although that's pretty much how I learned Spanish while living in Colombia for one year, that is not the case for Mandarin. In this video, we're gonna get into or can I? <laughs> and I'm gonna share the best way I found to learn Mandarin no matter where you are in the world. Right after I make this smoothie. Jessica, and you've reached the destination. Refreshing. It's only 120 degrees today. Today is the 11th of July, 2022. Almost exactly 13 months after my very first trip to beautiful Yangshu. Yangshu is a county located in the Guangxi province, which is in the southwest part of China. It's under the administration of Guilin City, but I've actually never been to Guilin because the train from Chongqing stops in Yangshu first. According to my research, which just means asking other expats, they've all said I haven't missed anything by not visiting Guilin since the most beautiful parts of the region are actually in Yangshu. Today is also significant because it was meant to be my very first day of in-person, on-campus classes at Omeda Chinese Academy. The Chinese Academy launched in 2008, making Omeda one of the most well-established, longest-running programs for foreigners in the country. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> 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 Today, at this time, I was to be fully moved into my Yangshu apartment. I would have been there for one week already. I would have unpacked by now. I would have had my workstation set up because yes, I had a new job. I had my whole summer planned out perfectly and by the end of it, I was gonna be a Mandarin speaker. As you can see, I'm still sitting here in my apartment at Chongqing. What had happened was, the job I had lined up fell through. This is the contract for the most perfect online teaching job, but unfortunately, Chongqing administration could not approve visas for teachers there any longer which caused me to keep my previous job, which will not allow me to spend a month or more in another city learning Chinese, even in the summer, <laughs> summer break. <laughs> Just a summer. This video is not sponsored in any way by the college, although I am rocking some paraphernalia. I just like this shirt. But I am an affiliate for them. So in my description, you will find an affiliate link to which you can use to get a discount on your courses. My trial class with Shi Er Lao Shi was Tai Ban Le. It was great. I really wish that I could have stayed in Yangshu longer and just continued to take classes in this manner. But that's not my lifestyle. I had to come back to Chongqing and go to work. But no worries, Omeida has online classes. Yay! Okay, I think it's time to get on with the list. Okay, Mom, what does that mean? Are you good to go? Okay, one more time, ask me the question. 
了吗？开始吧。非常好。Hi. <laughs> Now I can hear you. Hi. You are in Chongqing. Wow, you are in Chongqing. Yes. I am a Chengdu person. Do you know Chengdu? Yes. I love Chengdu. Omeda employs a variety of native Chinese teachers for both online and in-campus learning. Many students do a combination of both, so you may not have the same teacher for each class. Again, is to know more about you. Okay. About your self-introduction. Okay. 找一张你和好朋友的照片，介绍他。Huh? Uh, to find a friend, your best friend, a picture uh, of you and your best friend, and introduce your best friend. Oh, you can see my phone. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. 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 在沈阳，沈阳，中国，呃，他在沈阳，对，呃，呃，不知道 ，I don't know more words to say <笑>。啊、uh, ，他，比如说，他多少岁？啊、uh, ，他是，呃，三十，三十五岁。啊、uh, ，你们，你们认识多少年了 ？Uh, friends, how many years? 多少年？三年，三年。我们，我们 meet room room。嗯哼。In 中国三年 ，in 北京。啊、uh, ，在北京。对。Although I was thoroughly enjoying my online classes that I was taking here in my apartment, I really couldn't commit to a consistent schedule the way that I needed to in order to learn properly. Also, I just felt such a sense of peace when I was in Yongshuo. It's not a city, it's a small town. There's not a bunch of traffic and horns blowing constantly. People are just moving slowly, like the way people tend to do on islands, where you're just moving at your own pace, doing your own thing, no one's in a rush. It just felt good there. With my new job that fell through, I probably would have stayed in Yangshuo for two to three months. I, I'm just in a space where I feel like I need a full immersion experience in order to grasp this language. Anyone who's been to China and traveled from region to region knows that the accent, even though they're all speaking Mandarin, it changes drastically. I have a very Chongqing dialect when I speak Mandarin. <sighs> Chongqing's accent is, I, it holds a special place in my heart, obviously. I've been living here for four and a half years. However, <laughs> It's one of the worst sounding accents in this country. Yeah, I'm sorry. Please don't come for me, Chongqing man. I equate it to, in the United States, English speakers who are from the dirty south. I mean, like Mississippi. Maybe Tennessee, Alabama, parts of Texas. Just, just different vernacular all together. It's just so different. Even people from other regions of China come to Chongqing and they too do not understand what is being said if it's spoken in Chongqinghua. In my explanation for still not being able to fluently speak this language, there's some excuses there. I am a little bit lazy. I honestly thought it would be easier because Spanish came to me very easy. But another big difference is that in Medellin, 
the accent spoken there is muy claro. Everything is very clear. They enunciate every single letter of the word. So it's very easy to just listen and learn. Not only that, people want you to learn the language, okay? Taxi drivers would practice with me. I used to go to the same Euro grocery store and the same cashiers would be in there and we would talk slowly <laughs> so that I would pick up everything. Like I learned so much just from being a part of the community. And that does not happen in Chongqing at all. I was talking about this with one of my foreign friends who is a Mandarin speaker. She was saying that because China was closed off for so many years, they don't know how to slow down to help someone understand them better. You know, like if, if someone's foreign in the United States, people tend to either speak a little bit slower or louder don't speak louder, guys. It's not a hearing problem. Same in Spanish-speaking countries. People speak a little bit slower if they care to try to help you understand what they're saying if they don't speak your language. But that never happens. <laughs> that never happens here unless you're speaking to a younger person who is also learning a language. A younger person who is a learning English knows that, okay, I need to slow down a little bit for this English speaker to understand what I'm saying in Chinese. But most people, it's just gonna come out, it's gonna come out in their normal speed over and over again. Even if I'm like, uh, me, can you show Mandia? They're like, they don't, they don't know how to adjust the speed. They won't do it. I know, I know. Some of you are like, excuses, excuses. I do have significant free time. I mean, I found time to make these YouTube videos every week all of a sudden. And once upon a time, I took two hours every week and had Chinese lessons in home with a teacher I met here named Jojo. I met Jojo very early in my time here, early in 2018. I mean, I came here and hit the ground running. I was determined to learn this language. So my very first week at work, I asked my coworkers, do you guys have a teacher you can recommend? And through that recommendation, I found Jojo. Jojo came to my house every Tuesday for years. <laughs> I think two years up until the pandemic. So about my plan for Yangshu, I have paid a deposit for my classes, in-person classes. It can be transferred to online use, but I don't think that's the best idea for me. Online classes were fun and interactive, but being here in China, it just feels weird trying to take online classes when there's no reason to. <laughs> I really wanna have this immersive experience. So I have talked with the manager at Omeda and I've asked her if I could transfer my deposit to another student. I don't think this is something they do often, but we have a very good relationship. I truly love everything about them. Um, she gave me permission. So I want to host a contest hosted by me, not by Omeda, not by YouTube. I spent my own money to pay the deposit. This is not a sponsored thing from the school or YouTube or anyone else. This is me sharing the opportunity to learn Chinese with native speakers, either live in person in Yongshu or online from wherever you are in the world. But I've never done anything like this before. I've never hosted a giveaway of any sort not on Instagram, not here. So I had to read the rules because there are a lot of rules in this new influencer era. I have all the rules down. But I wanted to ask you guys, the 12 of you that always watch my videos, I really appreciate you guys. And the six of you that always leave a comment, really love you guys. <laughs> if you could leave a comment in this video of what I should do to give away this prize. Don't get too excited, it's not like a full course. In the next video, I'm gonna share more about my trip to Yangshu. My two trips to Yangshu, next week's video, I'm going to officially launch the giveaway and share more about 
Yongshu, what it's like being in Yongshu and how amazing I think that city is. So in the comments, let me know, what should I do to give it away? Like what should the criteria be? And I also think I wanna let you guys vote on who the winner should be. So, you know, drop your ideas in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed this video about Omeida and Yangshu. See you next week at the next destination, which is also Yangshu. Bye.